In this video I recreated Ant-Man VFX in Blender and I only had 5 days to do them. So let's get started. Day 1 was the day I prepared all the assets. I downloaded a 3D model of Ant-Man and reworked the textures. I created masks to have different materials appear. Then I uploaded the model to Mixamo to get an easy rig. For the Lego set I had some trouble deciding which one I wanted. I needed one where I could easily fall into and have something interesting to look at. After looking at the Falcon and the Razor Crest, I decided that I would use the Death Star since there were figures inside. I got all these models from a website called Mechabricks. I also used their free plugin to import the models into Blender, which was great since they already come with the correctly assigned materials. I had to spend some time to put all the textures in the correct color space since I use aces. But if you do this, you should be fine. Then I began to remodel the kitchen, which carried over to day 2. I took some reference pictures and used a program called FSpy to put the camera into the right position. The modeling process was simple. I basically just extruded and inset faces until I had the finished result. I guess it would have been enough only to have the chair and the table as a high-res model since I already had a scan of the room I created using Polycam. But I got carried away and did half of the room, including a procedural material for the ground. Maybe someday I'll need a full CG replica of the kitchen. You never know. Then in a new Blender file I imported all the assets and began the layout process. On day 3 I was ready to record all the animations using a mocap suit. If you don't have one, don't be worried, in just a second I'll provide a different solution I use on these two videos. I needed to know where I could walk and where I would bump into Vader. So I modeled a path and scaled it back up to the real world size. Now it paid off that I spent the extra time remodeling half of the room. I was able to place the path on the room and would you look at that, it fits perfectly. <laughs> I marked out where everything was so I could avoid walking into objects. Then I put on my suit and spent some time recording the animation. If you don't have a mocap suit, you can go onto Mixamo and download animations you like. For the animations where the character is moving from the origin, you need to check in place. Then back in Blender I used the NLA editor to blend them together. The only downside of doing it this way is that you only have so many animation presets on Mixamo. So your movements aren't unique. But it does work and I used it prior of having a mocap suit. On day 4, I retargeted the animation onto the Ant-Man rig. No matter how good the mocap data is, you will always have to adjust bone rotations and fix mistakes. You won't have these problems if you downloaded your animation from Mixamo. To fix the problems, I could use the NLA editor, but I found that the paid plugin animation layers is way easier to work with. Then I thought it would be nice if Ant-Man pushes away the hand while walking past Vader and then grabs onto his lightsaber. So I spent some time animating exactly this. Here is a side by side view of the raw mocap data and the adjusted animation. Notice his right hand doing something entirely different. For the camera, I added a path and used a follow path constraint. Then then I switched to Houdini to create the LEGO simulation, since the simulation tools in Blender are a bit sketchy. Let me know in the comments down below if you want a more detailed explanation of my LEGO simulation setup which I use in basically all of my videos. I imported the simulation back into Blender for the final rendering process. On day 5 my PC rendered the entire day, and after comping everything together I was left with this result. 